will there be a Ryzen 2800X? That's the question I want to answer today. As you guys know, we've gotten leaks about the 20 or the 2 series. I keep thinking about these new GeForce cards on the other hand, but this new 2 series on the Ryzen market and they only have the maximum uh, flagship model up to the 2700X. So that leaves us a big question. Obviously they've leaked the nice specs at something like 4.325 gigahertz, uh, turbo boosted, things like that. Some insane numbers, especially thinking about it that you know that's a good single threaded increase and they're really dangerously close to Intel's top of the line gaming market because that's, that's some pretty nice speeds. But the question I want to answer today is, Really, will they have a 2800X? And the, the main argument I've been able to come up with is simply because Intel's naming scheme does not have an 8 in there. Um, you notice 8700K, uh, 7700K just goes down the list. So it really does seem that the top tier i7 model should be, you know, in line with AMD's just for having that, you know, trying to stay with the competitor. Because with it's a fact that Intel is uh, more prevalent than AMD is, and I think that AMD is just trying to get out there saying that this is our top-of-the-line chip. I feel like the Ryzen 7 1800X was, yes, maybe something that was, you know, maybe an experimental thing when they first, you know, tried to release the lineup. But let's be honest, the Ryzen 7 uh, 1800X did not offer a whole bunch of, you know, increase or boost than the 17 or 7000 or 1700X. So, these numbers, they're not, they're not my thing. But... They didn't offer a substantial except like a couple little bit clock speed and people still overclocked it to 4 gigahertz. It was not really that noticeably of a, a difference. You really could kind of do the same general things. And I mean the 2.2 giga, gigahertz was the only thing you really would gain sometimes. And the clock, base clock speed and stuff was just wasn't really a gigantic difference. Yes, people got it for gaming because they wanted to get a nice fast gaming chip. But now with this, you know, these new, this new chip set... Uh, not chip. The new, these new chips are basically just going to have some insanely high clock speeds. The 2600 um, is going to be insane. These clock speeds from the leaks that we're seeing are just going to be higher up, which really eliminates the need for something that's, you know, 0.2 gigahertz up when you can overclock it and, you know, get the same speeds. So it just really becomes the point of there's not, they're trying to come in line with um, Intel. They are most likely also going to, you know, stop there, as I said. And it just, the core, there's not really any difference unless they come up with more cores or something along that line. You're just really edging into an area where Threadripper and, you know, yes, there is a model, the 1900X, which is a Threadripper, and still you're edging the area where it's kind of, it's not really going to make a big difference. I mean, adding more cores is getting into Threadripper, and so you've really gotten on that edge of the top tier Ryzen chip and you're just trying to come in with, with Intel, I guess. But um, I hope this video, you know, stated some facts, I guess, or some kind of assumptions or whatever you like to logic that, you know, kind of saying that we're probably not going to see anything. Yes, it'd be cool to see something with a clock speed of 5 gigahertz. Someone was hyping up a 2800X. Um, but I, to be honest with you, there's not really going to be any particular reason to hold off and put you know, all their, you know, hype into this new Ryzen series and then release a separate chip later, you know, in, in maybe next year or something, is not really like them. They should, they probably will, especially with Ryzen, they had everything out on the day one. And so, you know, yes, we had some APUs, but those weren't really, you know, as I said, the same kind of chip. Those were had a graphics card in them. Those were something very different. And now we're just getting kind of, 2800X will most likely, if it exists, will just be a slight clock speed boost, which kind of null, nulls the point of it and kind of makes it useless. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And of course, check out my channel for all those tool tech related things and news. And also, I'm going to probably get back into doing some more mods and stuff, and maybe some budget computer builds within the near future, probably within the next month. We'll have another budget computer build. And I hope to see you around. And uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>